Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. A variety of things. And if you follow me on this channel, you'd know that. I follow. I, I do a lot of stuff. Um, I find articles that I'm interested in, and sometimes I do uh, personal vlog type of stuff. But um, I kind of think of this show as a, a diary, a journal of things that are happening in my life, and that includes uh, politics and uh, events uh, that happen around me. And this just happens to be one in regards to the Dow Jones uh, in the stock market and S&P 500. I think uh, Boeing is also a part of that. But uh, according to Market Watch, uh, which I do frequent uh, quite often, Boeing, in case you're wondering, they make planes, <laughs> could bring the Dow Jones to a hard landing. And they are arguing that Boeing is the U.S. market's most dangerous stock. And I have read that Boeing is a big contributor to the overall market. Uh, so what happens with them can bring the market in a hold down. And with all the computer algorithms and stuff out there that does uh, high-speed trading, a lot of companies, a lot of these algorithms will match what the market is doing. Doesn't matter what the company it is. Uh, if the market's going down, then it seems like these algorithms are selling off stocks in other areas of the market. Not all the time, but it does seem like that. If you compare the overall market with certain types of stocks, they tend to do similar things. But again, not all the time. But let's take a look at this and see what it is. So... Is Boeing the most world's most dangerous stock? It, is it a major threat to the current market rally? Specifically, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Shouldn't there be a question mark? Is it a major threat? Yeah, there should be a question mark. That, that's like not very good sentence structure there. I'm not talking about uh, Boeing's fundamentals as a growing concern. The company itself looks to be doing great. They are talking about stocks, charts, and the technicals. So when it comes to investing, you got to look at fundamentals and technicals. Technicals are the things like um, when you draw lines and you look at your highs and your lows and your support and your um, um, resistance lines. We're talking technicals like that. And I think a lot of the algorithms for high-speed trading, trading, uh, are based on technicals. Fundamentals do have something to do with it also, but they also can be based off of technicals too. But let's take a look at this, some Boeing charts here. And I've got another one I'm going to show you, but this is a monthly chart of Boeing. Uh, new highs on a very pronounced negative RSI divergence, etc., etc. Here's a yearly chart. Look at this. It's it's almost as if everyone was jumping in on the bandwagon and it just pushed this stock way up. So what they're saying here is Boeing stock is now 49% above its yearly uh, exponential moving average. On its second year, the stock is entirely disconnected. The slope on a linear chart is looking mighty exponential, I would agree. To be bullish on Boeing at this level is to presume that there is no technical reconnect risk and the stock would continue to extend, ignoring all the history of the stock regularly reconnecting with its yearly uh, exponential moving average. Uh, if it's doing this, I definitely would not buy stock. <laughs> that might be a bad idea. Uh, if you do, be sure you buy a put option to protect your investment. We've repeatedly seen such excessive optimism before. Consider this example, blah, blah, blah. That was Cisco Systems in 2000. And we know how that movie ended. It did this. 
Massive extensions and share prices don't last and are subject to reversions, blah, blah, blah. Is this compatible with the stock's history? Boeing shares currently trade 26.3% above their weekly 50-day uh, moving average. The daily picture doesn't look any less frothy. <laughs> Here it is there. The bottom line, Boeing stock is massively tech technically extended, overbought, and, and engaged on a trajectory that can be described as vertical, putting it at high risk of a major reversal and accordingly is a dangerous investment right now. So let's take a look at the stock. And here we are. This is a two-year chart. So man, several years ago, might have been a good idea to buy some Boeing stock. My goodness, it was $176 back, back then. But it has climbed crazy. $344 all the way up here to $430. You can see this climb here, but it has already started to go down here. Let's go down to the three month chart. So it has climbed up to here. It is on its way down. Will it continue down? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's gone down here, went down here. So, I mean, it could just continue bouncing up for all we know. Uh, that's why you want to be very, very careful. But on the same token, it might be a good time to take a look and maybe plan ahead to maybe buying some stock with them. Uh, there's a good chance that this stock could fall down back to this uh, $300 level. And it might be worth maybe picking up a share. All you would need to do is buy one share and, you know, once it starts climbing back up again, shoot, man, you could make an easy hundred dollars right there. You might have to hold on to that stock a little bit, but I mean, and maybe not at the beginning of the year, it was down here to the 300 level. So in a few months it went up, who knows, who knows? Anyway, what do you think? Do you do investing? Uh, do you have any stock in Boeing? Maybe you're interested in stock in Boeing. Um, I'm kind of a little bit in, uh, interested. I think I would only buy like maybe uh, one share. Uh, so I don't think I'd buy two. <laughs> I'd be very careful though. I, I would maybe buy one share and hold on to it. If the market fell... I've said this on other videos before. If the market falls, don't panic and just start selling your stuff. Think of it as something that goes on sale. You buy something at, at a certain price and then sometimes there's a sale and you can buy, you know, maybe stock up. Stock. <laughs> no pun intended. I didn't mean that. Uh, you could buy another share when it gets cheaper because you know what? When the market goes up from that point, you're going to be making some money. So don't panic with your investments. If you're worried about the stock going down, you can buy what's called a put option. So if the market goes down, your put option will make money. Uh, you can think of it as a form of insurance. That's why people buy put options. You buy it at a certain strike price. So, for example, you would buy a put option at this strike price of 430, you know, close to that. And if the market were to fall, now one put option is a contract that's uh, worth 100 shares. Uh, definitely a lot cheaper than buying 100 shares. Some people trade on on options alone. I've done that. I've lost money as a result. Um, or you could use it for what it was intended for. Uh, if you get a put option at a 430 strike price, um, buy it maybe a year out or so. If the market were to fall, you could turn around and sell your 100 shares, if you had them, for that price. For that, for that stock price. So if you have it around here and it fell and it didn't look like it was going to recover, 
you could go ahead and sh sell those shares that you have at the 430 so that way you don't lose all your money on it uh, another thing that you could do uh, which is something that i thought you keep your stock especially if your stock has dividends and the put option that makes money you could sell that um and that will help make up the difference for the money that you've lost and maybe with that money you could buy another share so i don't know those are just my thoughts let me know uh what you think um, if you do investing, I'm really interested. I like to talk with other uh, investors because uh, investors, they all have uh, different ways of doing things. So um, I'm interested in communicating with you. So let me know in the uh, comments below. And I hope you'll subscribe to this channel because it could use a lot of love. And check out my other rambling videos and I'll see you on another one.